Life off of Earth just got a lot more interesting, and Mars might be taking a backseat to Venus. Nature Astronomy published a paper stating that a gas called phosphine was detected in the atmosphere of Venus. Not that exciting. But this is a big deal. NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine sent out a tweet on Monday saying the discovery is the most significant development yet in building the case for life off of Earth. And quote, it's time to prioritize Venus. NASA released a statement saying they had no part of this research, but look forward to the discussions that follow this publication. Are you going to Venus? <sighs> no, I think I'm going to stay right here on <laughs> Earth, oh, man. Tired of going to department stores for all of your luxury items? If so, we have some great news for you. Amazon is launching Luxury Stores, a new shopping experience that will offer established and emerging luxury fashion brands. Collections will be sold directly from the brand and will act like a store within a store, so maybe like a mall, I guess? Customers will be able to see items in 360 degree view and help them explore the styles. Luxury styles will initially be released to Prime members and will also launch the Oscar de la Renta featuring this fall and winter collections. So what's your favorite luxury store? Oh man. Man, anything that's a BOGO, buy one, get one off. <laughs> hey, I don't know if luxury stores do that, but that's my favorite. I think it's buy one, pay double for the second. All right, guys, if you like what you're seeing, make sure you hit that subscribe button. The internet strikes again, but this time I'm a little concerned. The fine citizens of New Jersey posted a video thinking that they saw a UFO yesterday. The only problem is they need to schedule a visit to the eye doctor. People actually stopped on the highway to look at it because they actually believe it was a UFO. I'm not sure if I blame them though, because after the Pentagon released their own videos of UFO sightings earlier this year, I might have thought so as well. As we approach the holiday season, it's likely that a lot of things are gonna be a little different. One of them will be the more than 90 year old Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. It was announced the parade will be a television only event this year, as I'm sure it was gonna be for most of us already. The mayor of New York announced a scale back of the city's holiday staples in August. You can be one of the 50 million expected viewers of the parade by tuning in to NBC on November 26th. What's your favorite Thanksgiving food? Oh, turkey. Ah, it makes me too sleepy. It's time for the two words that every sports fan loves, Game 7. After erasing a 19-point deficit in Game 6 and tightening the series from 3-1 to 3-3, to the Nuggets will take on the Clippers tonight with the right to take on the Lakers in the Western Conference Finals. Is the Clippers collapse imminent or will they close out Denver in Game 7? Tune in tonight at 9 Eastern to find out. So when was the last time you came back from 19 points down? Uh, whenever I made up my own rules. <laughs> that's, a, that's a big deficit, dude. Jeopardy is back in action after debuting its 37th season last night with host Alex Trebek. COVID-friendly changes have been made, including a stage upgrade with extra space between contestants and Trebek. And Trebek will no longer get up close and personal for those contestant chats. The 80-year-old host has been battling stage four pancreatic cancer since last year, but is still going strong. Uh, Jeopardy question, oh, I read my own. Thing there. Sorry. <laughs> what is the prompter is going too fast? <laughs> How could we leave that in there? All right, guys, thanks for joining us on Able Today. I'm Cliff. And it is your boy, uh, uh, Smiley. See you next time. Bye.